just before the break, we heard Andrew Mitter give a great performance of Georgia. He's here with us now. Welcome. Welcome. Yeah. Hi. Oh thank my you gosh, for having your, me. Your performance yeah, no problem, was yeah. fantastic. Oh, it was awesome. <laughs> thank you. So you recently came from Indiana where you had a band? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I've played in several bands, but I also was the, the leader of a band. We played Southern Rock indie music. Mm -hmm. So what, what brought you here? So my wife is a family physician, and she mm -hmm. got a job at Baptist Women's Hospital. Mm -hmm. So she moved here, and we moved here because of her job. Okay. So when I first approached you about being on the show, I, I had emailed you, you know, just asking if you'd be interested, and you responded with a list of all the instruments you play and which one you wanted me to, <laughs> which one I wanted you to play. And I was just like, oh my gosh, I, I wasn't expecting this. So what instruments do you play? Remind me. And uh, how did you how did you learn all of those? So I play the trumpet, upright bass, guitars. Um, and keyboard. That's why I claim to play, <laughs> and I sing as well. I never really had formal lessons. Mm -hmm. I was just very musical, and I guess I just understand instruments starting from a young age. So I just picked mm -hmm. up whatever I wanted, and I could make music with it. Who introduced uh, you to music? Like I guess instruments and whatnot. Actually, uh, my father was a guitar player for a little bit, so okay. he actually kind of started me down the road on trumpet. And as far as influences go, I have a huge man crush on John Mark McMillan. He's an artist from South Carolina. Okay. I, just, I love everything he does. Okay. So aside from being a musician and a teacher at Germantown High School, you also skateboard? Ah, <laughs> you yes. Do, you do everything. Yeah. So. I uh, <laughs> had a recent accident oh, this week. Oh, there no. we go. Oh, yep. no. yeah. It's all part there of the go. trade. Yeah. <laughs> Comes with the territory. Yeah. We, we had a, a friend last year, we were going, we did fools the, the fall play uh -huh. and um, we had a friend who was going to be in it got in a skateboarding accident busted his leg so uh, <laughs> he was out yeah I mean but obviously I mean that's that's just part of all, obviously the passion of the sport so can right. you kind of tell me you know obviously you're this you are this maestro with the music kind of tell me how you got into <laughs> skateboarding so I got into skateboarding my junior year in high school my friends started doing it and I would consider myself a lifelong learner I love learning different aspects of life Mm -hmm. Like, I love to bird watch. I love music. I love math and science. I, I mean, I have a chemistry degree. That's why I'm teaching. Mm -hmm. And I'm just fascinated by all these different things. And I'm really intrigued by physics. So skateboarding, to me, it's great because it's something I can do whenever I oh, want. Yeah. Um, and it's not just like a general sport where you're competing against someone else, but I'm competing against myself, trying to master the laws of physics and having a great time doing it. Okay, well, like I said, you seem to do everything, so I heard your first job out of college was for NASA? Yeah. What well, the heck that, is that, that, is that about? That is out of this world, no pun intended. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, I, um, I was very honored. My, my research professor at Purdue University, where I got my undergrad degree, mm -hmm. recommended me for this job with NASA, mm -hmm. and so I was performing nanotechnology research. Oh my gosh, what, wow. what the heck is that? <laughs> so nano is a prefix, it means one times 10 to the negative ninth. Right. So very small, we're talking on the level of atoms and biology, cells, mm -hmm. things like that. So my research was coding strands of DNA with metal and then treating it like a conductive wire. Wow. And then measuring the resistance on that mm -hmm. wire to find out which metals would conduct the best with the least resistance. Well, that's fantastic. I'm actually interested in going into the sciences myself, but thank you. <laughs> that's beside the point. Thank you so much for being on yeah, the thank you. show today. It's awesome fantastic to have you. Thank you. Cool. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Mitter, for taking time to be on the show.